Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back on Feed the Peace Monster and my god, look at this. <laughs> okay, so I've done a couple of uh, adjustments since last episode and I'm going to turn that down a little bit more because you probably don't want to hear trees getting cut down all day long. Um, so yeah, I've done a couple of new things. I have uh, removed the uh, steam dynamo so we're up here. Uh, they were causing a lot of like space issues. So it was like um, we had to have the water blocks and the aqueous accumulator and the fluid ducts and the steam engines. Um, pump into these things. So what I've done is I took the two steam dynamos up there, I've put them here and I've just connected up uh, these two machine, these two machines, these two machines um, up to the uh, the main power line I guess that's going through here. Um, I tried using uh, saplings to power these things, there's like uh, instead of charcoal by uh, like pumping it out, sending it around but it didn't really work, it was running out of saplings really fast, we didn't have enough to keep up with the uh, the demand of these machines and it was because saplings burn in like half a second or something ridiculous um, so that really wasn't working so what I've done is I've set this one furnace on the end what this one now does is instead of going along this way with the rest of them it actually goes sends all its charcoal back this way uh, to power these machines and it seems to be working well actually they seem to be actually uh, gaining more charcoal as time goes on look at this I only put in like four in each of them and they seem to have gained charcoal since then so uh, I also had an extra one on the side because we were getting overflow wood still. Uh, if you look over here, you'll see we've got like seven stacks plus 38 wood and uh, two stacks of apples over there. We were getting still excess wood all over the place, so uh, I had an extra furnace. Hopefully, should be should handle this issue just fine. We've got we're not getting much wood at the minute. We've got 59 in that one, but it is dark and it tends to go a lot faster during the daytime. So I'm going to um, head on upstairs go to sleep and see how that thing looks in the morning okay yeah okay I've also set up the uh, the quarry that I said I was going to set up at the end of the last episode if we come and have a look out here and around the back you'll see this massive wall of leaves that the thing can't reach which is kind of annoying but it's fine uh, oh God look at all this stuff I have uh, I've moved the diamond pipe and the void pipe from over here. I've also put down, I've also made another iron chest, which is fine. I've set this to uh, to get rid of gravel, the limestone, and cobblestone. Limestone, I'm not really sure what you can use it for. If you press U, you can make a limestone bricks. Not really my cup of tea, and it seems to be all over the place. I don't really want it. it just takes up space. So what I'm going to do in a second is go and get my uh, conduits because I don't seem to have them on me. But I connect them up, and this quarry is pretty big. I don't think you can see. Oh God! I can hear a. Oh, there it is. So I could hear a meteor, and there it is. You can go look at that in a minute if you want. But um, let's have a look. Can you see the edge? Can you see the other side of this one? It's all the way over there. It's the other side. So as soon as I turn this thing on, it should start going quite fast because if we take a quick look, see downstairs. We've also, it's also a lot, a lot cleaner down here now with all this stuff going. It's like a, a nice and spacious. I think I've also moved this roof up one as well because that was a bit that was annoying me. I don't like too high roofs. But uh, if we look down here and get our conduits. Um, these ones here. I've just been dumping stuff in here because I've been carrying around so much stuff. Look at all this charcoal we've got. If we uh, run and connect this up, we should see this thing go super fast because this thing's full on 2 million redstone flux. These are all like full at the minute. Um, if we look in these, these are all like full on juice. Even the new two ones at the end are all full with like 64, 63. They're all full of coal as well. God, we've, we've got like too much power. I say that now, but then look at these trees. See what I mean? In the day, they just go insane on the grow, growing -ness. So let's collect these up and see how fast this flipping quarry can go. So hopefully... Right, how's this thing doing? Now it's only using a couple of uh, Minecraft jewels per tick and I think I know why. I think it's because we've split it off uh, at some point. Can I find the, the exit hole here? I think it's because now the power's coming along here and then turning left to go to um, and then getting split up here so only a half the amount of power that was before going to the quarry is now going to the quarry so now there's probably um, more going to the other machines. How's this doing? 23, 22? Eh. How's it doing at destroying stuff? You can't really, I, I never really know how fast it's going until the arm pops up and this is probably going to take a little bit of time because that thing can take a little while especially when there's a lot of trees there God, look at all this. How is this thing coping with the trees? How's it coping? Um, seems to be doing okay at the minute, but if you have a look in here, 34, 53, 25, 62. Seems to be doing okay. It seems to be doing okay at getting, plowing through those, uh, which is good. So let me just do a quick check. If I disconnect 
not that one, but that one. Connect this back up. Is that quite going to start using up a lot more power? And how is this doing? This thing is still on full power, even with the quarry on, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous, I'm telling you. Let's have a look. Is it using much more power now? It is. Look, now it's using 3,000, going up to 4,000, and increasing all the way up to like 5,000 plus. So it does seem that um, it is, in fact, the separation. So if we say change this up a little bit. Let's see if we can now see these machines have stopped working now though, which is not what we want. We could send down another power line bringing it out of the other side because I think that would um, not face the same issues. So if we brought like say a power line that came out of here up and then along the roof over to that side, of course we have to make this side an output again like that. But I think what the thing does is it's got a max output of um, 400 redstone flux per take. Now, I'm not sure if that's 400 on each side or whether it's just 400 overall. Um, and now I think about it, it's probably 400 overall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this back up because it's probably just a waste of stuff. And I am going to finish off this redstone energy cell that we started making like two or three episodes ago now. I'm going to put that down because this thing should output a hell of a lot faster. So, and we're so close to finishing it. Right, redstone, energy cell, what do we need? We need three electrum, two lead, and one of these things. Uh, I think I have electrums upstairs, possibly. It is, I'll take some reds, I'll take some of this stuff. I'll take the one lead, I think we've got some more lead upstairs as well though, that's good. So let's have a quick look. Lead, yeah, here we go. Uh, we only need two, so that's fine. Here's all my other stuff. I think we are pretty much good to go. So I'll make one of those. And then we'll make one of those. Kaplunk. So this thing holds 10 million redstone flux as opposed to the old one. And it can uh, send and receive 2,000 redstone flux per tick as opposed to the uh, 400 that the one we've got at the minute can currently send, which is a flipping lot of stuff. So if we put this... I think I might put it on top, just so that we can drain the power out of the one on the bottom. So if I put that on top like that, um, it's getting a little bit of power. But what I want to do is I want to make the top of this an output. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to turn off the other outputs of this machine for now. So all the 400 redstone flux particular should be coming to the top, possibly. Oh, is this one? Is that on the top? I'll just turn all these on actually, there's, there's, there's really no point leaving it off. Um, okay, this is gaining all the power, uh, which is good. I will leave that to gain its power. So that's going to gain all the power eventually. Let's put down another hardened conduit here, if we can reach. Put one down there. And I think we should be able to disconnect, if I can get up there, uh, not that one, disconnect this bottom one. So now this should stop gaining power, and this should be the one gaining all the power. Which is nice. Look at that. It's on 200,000 and increasing redstone flux per tick at the minute. All these are being drained, which is good. We're actually using up the charcoal. This is good stuff. Let's have a look. So this one's going to hold our 10 million redstone flux. And it's going to output 2,000 redstone flux per tick. So we should be able to just disconnect this. Because um, I want all the redstone flux going into this machine. Is that working? It is. Uh, it doesn't look to be coming out of here, though. Why is that a thing? We should be able to just like take it straight out of there and put it into another one. Let me try. You can pick this up and it'll keep all its energy, which is nice. Let's put this thing, say, here. Okay, there we go. This thing's losing power now. And the only place it can go is, uh, well, could be going to the quarry, actually. But I'm going to assume it's going this way. Let me just break this one. Now it's a quick check. Yeah, so now it's going straight into the redstone energy cell, which is nice. Uh, yep, good stuff. Uh, I'm going to put this back anyway because I do want the quarry to be running. So let's have a look. Uh, is that working? Okay, we're going to have to... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this thing. I'm going to turn this side so that this becomes an output. Wrong one. That one? Nope. Wrong ones. That's the one. So now this should be outputting to the quarry. 
as well, hopefully. We'll find out in a second, I'm guessing. And if I come up here, I can put this one down on this side with one of these. And this should be outputting all its juice straight into this thing now, which is beginning it. Good stuff. And now if we go and have a quick look at our quarry in a second, I'm also going to make that an output. Is that that one? Yep, it is. And just make sure that's still an input. It is. Okay, let's go have a look at our quarry and see if that thing's moving. And see how fast it's moving. It should be moving relatively fast, even though we've connected that up again. So now this will be working. It's probably going to cut down like a billion trees right now because they're probably all grown. Yeah, look at this. We've got like a forest. We've got like a jungle here. Um, this thing is moving at 7,000. Uh, it's using 7,000 out of the 15,000 Minecraft jewels. Um, that's like stored, I think, is um, what that is at the minute. I think it's stored uh, 6,000. So it is going down, but that's fine. Um, look at this. Look how big this quarry is at the minute. Flipping heck. This thing's going to be big. We're going to get so much stuff from this. It's already cutting down. Look how fast it got rid of a lane of this stuff. Like, it's just, that that's tearing through stuff. That is brilliant. It's brilliant. We get so many materials. It's awesome. We've got loads of power. How's it doing? The red, at the minute, it's not getting anything useful. I actually don't think you get to keep any of this stuff that it gets whilst it's um, doing this. Whilst it's sort of like deconstructing. You, have to keep, you don't get to keep any of that. Uh, I will cover this hole in at some point in the other one. Uh, I've covered up the first hole, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, we got some nice stuff from that. We could probably do with some more, but it's fine. This thing, oh my god, I can't even get through. Look at this. Flipping heck, okay. Right. We get a lot better FPS in the house. <laughs> when we're out there, or when we're looking at the trees and stuff, our FPS just sort of plummets. So when we're down in the um, uh, that room there. But uh, let's have a look. How is our... Say, talk about FPS plummets, what was that about? That was like 4 FPS. Um... We're going up, we're almost at the 2 million points, so this here, that, that amount there that's got in at the minute, is about as much as this other one could hold total, which is uh, pretty insane. This one's running out, these machines are all still nice and cool, which is awesome. Um, and now we face the other conundrum that this thing is outputting 2,000 redstone flux per tick max, and this thing here can only take, uh, can only carry 400. But the thing is, I don't think we're actually using any more than... Um, 400 at the minute. I mean, the quarry can use 100 Minecraft jewels per tick, it said max. Uh, I'm not sure how much this thing can use. Um, maybe if these are using... I don't think these are going to use more than 100 each um, max. So I don't think we're going to be using more than 400. So I think we should be fine for now with all this uh, stuff set up. Which is really nice, actually. I'm glad... I was going to go the um, the traditional route and just go get some lava from the nether. Go get, um, like, Tesseract or uh, an Ender Tank and just do lava from the nether sort of thing. Um, but I thought, you know what, let's do something different. Let's do coal from a massive tree farm to power, like, 50 million steam dynamos. And, like, this one here, this one's not even... This one's still full on power, so is that one. So is that one, possibly? No, it's not, but... These things... My god, look at all this stuff. And if we wanted to do stuff with these, we need servos. This thing's ridiculous, is this uh, Aquis Accumulator. It's filling all of these with water, continuously. It's ridiculous, even though it's not got any power at all. That is ridiculous. Okay, let me just fill this in real quick with maybe some stone. Do we have any stone? We've got cobblestone. Cobblestone's a type of stone, I guess. Possibly. But uh, anyway, what are we going to do next? We've kind of got our power set up. We're um, gaining power ridiculously fast. and We're using it pretty much at the same ridiculousness of speed going through the way, sending it back to um, the... Uh, quarry, but we've still got a nice excess of power, and I'm wondering whether or not this would be a good time to start with an actual uh, real sorting system now. Before I do that, someone said to me that the thing might be able to use... There we go. Okay, so the way you use this wooden label is you got to have nothing in your hand, which is kind of a pain. Um, I've had quite a few mods uh, do that to me, where you got to have something in your hand before you can uh, use it. But uh, if we just get rid of that, if you shift right click... Uh, with nothing in your hand, so not holding an iron axe. Shift right click, you can put things in here like this, and then you could use this to sort of see what was in there instead of these ingots. So I could be like, oh, this one's got um, iron, and this one's got ingots in, is what I'd assume from that label. Now if I break this label and just put it on this other chest, for instance, I could stick it on here, like this, and I could be like, oh, this one's redstone, lapis, and coal. Because that's what it is. So if I shift right click on this one, we could throw in redstone, lapis, and coal. And we're just like, oh, that's what that chest is. So they're, they're pretty cool. I don't think I'll end up using them now because we've got these signs and everything and there's no real point. But um, if you're wondering, that's how you do it. That's why it wasn't working for me. You do need to shift right click. And I'm going to go sleep. 
because I'm tired. And sleep is good. Everyone loves sleep. Leave a comment if you like sleep. If you don't like sleep, then that, I don't know. Don't, well, there you go. I keep pressing R in here like it's going to arrange them, because if you press R in here, it arranges them. Uh, but I keep forgetting you got to click this stuff. I do love whatever mod it is that puts this in. I think it's... Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Inventory Tweaks, that's the one. That lets you organise stuff in your inventory. It's so nice. Just be able to go plunk and just rearrange everything so it's nice and in a nice neat order. It's beautiful. Okay, so I think... I'm going to set up a sorting system. Now, the way I want to do this is I want to use a mod called Logistics Pipes. At Logistics Pipes. And um, I think this this the aim of this series is to uh, is to break my PC with uh, with too many pipes. That is the <laughs> that's the goal. We're going to we're going to break my PC. At the minute, we're running at just under 60. It's dropped to 30 because we went down to the room. I don't know how it's actually running because Fraps likes to lock the FPS, so there we go, up to 60 again. Who knows? But um, we're going to use logistics pipes because why not? And logistics pipes are pretty cool. And eventually, I think what I might do is incorporate this system over there uh, in with the logistics pipe system so that we can like um, do stuff better because the, logistic, the, the logistics pipes are a lot smarter than these like default build craft pipes that we've been using up till now, which sort of just, well, they basically just do what you say. Like you say, send stuff that way, it'll just start going that way, and then if it can't get into anything, it'll just throw it out at the end, whereas logistics pipes, if it can't go anywhere, it won't send it, which is uh, kind of cool. Um, how are these doing? 50, 49, see they are getting kind of full, they're getting fuller than they were a minute ago, uh, when we checked, and uh, we've got loads of wood. We're not going to run out of wood, ever. <laughs> um, look at this, still full of, these guys are all filling up on power, filling up on juice. This guy's not filling up on juice. We can't be inputting and outputting 2,000 redstone flux per tick at the same time. Uh, maybe, actually. Uh, this thing is out of juice now, so we can get rid of this. I have a feeling... Um, is that not taking it in? What is input colour? Oh, apparently that's not it. Now it's draining that way, I think. I think that was... What was that doing? This is input, I'm sure. If we turn it to orange, for some reason it starts to output. Is it like filling up these with juice? Uh, no, it's not. Um, I'm not too sure, actually. If we turn that off, nothing happens. If we turn that back on, stuff happens. Um, I don't know, if we turn... It's losing juice at the minute, which is what I'd expect. But when I turn that on, it should start collecting juice from all these um, things here. Unless... Looks like if I put this redstone cube on top of it, and turn the bottom to that, it should start... Yeah, that one starts getting juice. So why aren't you doing that? What's wrong with you guys? Let's throw this underneath, and... Can we disconnect this? I don't want this to happen. Uh this going to work? New. No. I can't see the bottom, so it's not really helpful. It could quite possibly be, and it probably definitely is actually, now I think about it, that um, we are currently, and I have a feeling there's going to be a massive hole beneath this block, there isn't good stuff. Um, I think we're currently uh, using... Right, okay. Um, the, the, the redstone engine is uh, the redstone energy cell here is outputting 400 because that's all it can output at the minute. It's outputting 400 this way uh, and sending it along here this way. And at the minute, because we've got so many steam dynamos pumping in, uh, we've actually got 12, which is a total of whatever 12 times 8 is, which is like over 800. Um, I just did 10 times 8, so it's like I don't know 1200 maybe. But it's pumping it through there, and these uh, the red the conduits in the middle can only hold 400. So at the minute. It's send, it, we're only getting a max of 400 in and we're sending 400 out. So what we're going to have to do is uh, is get some redstone energy conduits. So I'm going to put a plug in the logistics pipes for now. And we'll probably come back to those next episode, hopefully. But for now, we're going to make some redstone energy conduits. Now to do this, we need redstone energy conduits, which are um, 
red surge conduits empty in a fluid transporter with some uh, destabilized redstone, which we can do. Uh, so we need hardened glass and electrum. Now we've got one electrum. We've got some hardened glass lying about somewhere. We've got... Da, 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 da. It's probably upstairs. But for now, I'm going to cook that gold. I'm going to pulverize that gold, pulverize this silver and stuff. And I'm going to go find my hardened glass and see what happens. I also might check the quarry to see if we found any gold. Because I, I don't think we did, which is... Um, Kind of a shame, we could really do with some. Uh, did I put it in here? I did, look, we've got 10 hardened glass, which is nice, so if we can make a couple of those. We only need six energy conduits, but I think they get made in batches of six, don't they? Yeah, so two pieces of electrum and one hardened glass should actually do us for now. Because we only really need redstone energy conduits to, um, to connect up our steam engines to our redstone energy cells, so we should actually have enough if we... Uh, if we just uh, take this pulverized... Oh, what the... Where's... <laughs> See, this is the problem. It pulverized the gold, and then it sent it straight on through to the f powered furnace, which, like, smelted it back into a gold ingot, and then threw it in the induction smelter to just sit there. There you go. That's how it works. <laughs> okay. Um, I think... I'm only going to use one of these, because I don't want to use up my gold if I don't need to, because we might end up needing gold. <laughs> like, when we just need that random gold ingot, and it's like, oh, yep, yeah, you, uh, you used that. Sorry. Sorry, you used that one. So let's get rid of that. Here we go. And then just like this. Kaplunk. Okay, so now we're going to need some redstone. Now, how much do we need? How much do we need? 200 uh, millibuckets per one. So we're going to need uh, 1,200. So we're going to need 12 redstone, which we can do. I, I would argue that this should be enough to... Uh, turn all of these here into redstone energy conduits. Here we go. Possibly. Yeah, look at that. And was it the perfect amount? Yeah, look at this. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this uh, knowing thing, knowing stuff thing. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, how are we going to do this? I'm just going to break this for now. And we're going to pick all these up, which is nice because we can use these again soon, somewhere else. Now let's put down our redstone energy conduits. Look at these bad guys. How much do these give out? How much can these do? These can transfer 10,000 redstone flux per tick, which is flipping ridiculous. And we're one shot. Look at that. Gosh. So now we should. Oh my god, look at this. We're gaining so much redstone flux per tick. It's ridiculous. Let's connect these up if we can. I'm hoping they don't connect. Yeah, they don't connect to these. It's good. It's good. Okay, we are getting. An absolute, we're losing actually loads of redstone flux per tick. Um, what's going on now then? Why? 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 Oh, why? Is this still? Did I turn this on? Is the bottom on? I can't. I can't see. I can't see if the bottom's on. Let's have a look. It is okay. Uh, nine. Okay, we are gaining power. We are okay. So we are. Power is going in, and I'm gonna go check now and see if everything else is working. So power is being made by the steam dynamos. This thing is gaining power faster than we could give it out at the minute. So I'm going to assume by that logic that that's running and that all the other machines are running and the quarry is also running is going to be my guess. Let's have a look. Got this tree farm. <laughs> look at this. The quarry, the quarry, the quarry, the quarry is going. And uh, this is probably actually really annoying me, so I'm just going to quickly get rid of this water, because if we can get rid of the water, I, don't, I prefer it when quarries don't have water in them, but, you know, if they're going to have them in them, they're going to have them in them. Uh, shovel. Quarry's going to come all the way back over here now and try and get rid of that stuff. Uh, is this not enough? Is there a block here? It looks like there is. Get rid of that. Beautiful. It looks like there's just like one or two blocks here of water. They just like to be a pain. Uh, get rid of those guys. Where's the other blocks? Is that enough? I do like that the quarry cleans up after me, but come on, get rid of the water first. What we could have done, actually, is make what's called um, like an advanced quarry, is it? There's another quarry, a quarry plus, which takes um, a quarry, two redstone diamond chipsets, two pulsating chipsets, uh, 16 yellow pipes and eight chests, and uh, what this can do is it actually uh, takes up liquids as it goes. It also does some other cool stuff that I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, 
it does do some cool stuff. I'm going to quickly get out of here and the quarry's going to finish up this stuff behind me, which is nice. We've got a good... Oh my god, see, look at this. We've just got some random stuff that... don't really need this, but it's there already. We could do with uh, possibly upgrading this to maybe a gold and then maybe a diamond chest. Possibly. So... Uh, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. It might have been a short episode, but uh, we did some stuff. We upgraded our redstone. We upgraded our hardened cell to our redstone energy cell. We upgraded our conduits to our redstone energy conduits. And we got this massive quarry up and running. Um, between this episode and next, I might empty this out. I might not. Uh, I might just see how it goes, see if it's got enough space to do stuff. Um, I'll let this run for quite a bit. Hopefully, we'll get some nice, cool stuff. Uh, next episode, I hope to start on some logistics pipe stuff. So we are going to start on making some of these chipsets. And uh, maybe after um, after that we could always come back to this because we're going to start making some of these chipsets. Hopefully next episode using Buildcraft. And then uh, after that we could always come back and upgrade this quarry to a quarry plus. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.